This week we show you around the Forge Motel in Bristol. This motel brand themselves is the closest stay near Bristol Airport at just 100 metres away. Whether it's a night stay before you fly or a stay after returning home to get some rest, there's no doubt this is the perfect location with parking without having to spend a fortune. So just by there we've got the check-in. Um, that is where you go in to get your room key. But that is also in by there in the seating area where you will go to get picked up for whatever time you wish to be taken to the airport and you can request any time that you want. Very nice key ring attached to the key and it was very heavy so you're going to hear it if you did drop it at all. Drive in, this is where you check in and that is where you get picked up to be taken to the airport. This is the car park to the forge. As you can see, very busy. It goes on for quite some way. We are parked just by there and that was such a tight squeeze to get into so what we've got to do is drop the keys to the driver in the morning who will take us over to the airport and we are in room number two which is right here we've had to go for a triple room because all the double rooms had sold out by the time we booked so let's give you a tour of the room so quite small guys but perfectly equipped. So as you come through the door, you've got the double bed and the single bed. Just behind the door here, you've got a little hanging rail with the TV up on the wall in the corner. Little chair just by there. And it comes with a kettle. We've got Weetabix cornflakes, crunchy nut cocoa pops, some biscuits, teas, coffees, everything you need and what we've also got in here is a fridge. So it's got everything that you need, little bedside lamp there and a bin and then as we come into the bathroom straight to a mirror, check yourself out. Really long bathroom so here's the toilet so here's my point of view from the toilet we've got the shower all the way up there however you know lovely and clean what you want is somewhere really close to the airport and we are very close the planes take off right by there we thought we would give this hotel a try purely because the Forge advertised themselves as the closest hotel to Bristol Airport. They advertise it as 100 yards away and you can almost touch the airport, that's how close they are. So you come out of the main entrance here onto Bridgewater Road, a few yards just outside as you turn left you've got a roundabout and then you turn right into Bristol Airport. This is the closest place you can stay without getting stung for a massive price because on the airport grounds there is a hotel and you will be paying hundreds for the night. Now just to let you know how much we paid for this room. Now bearing in mind all the double rooms had gone, the baby was going to go in the cot so I had to upgrade for a triple room which is the two uh, beds, one double, one single. Now a standard double is £75 and a triple is £95 which I obviously had to go for. There is parking available. Now parking is not guaranteed. If you go on the website for The Forge, if you book your hotel room at least a week in advance they will guarantee you a space. However, you are not guaranteed. What I done last night, because we have done a last minute holiday, so we are going to the south of France for Tasha's birthday. I booked the room, I went straight to the parking section, put the details in of my car and what you have to do is wait for an email back but I think it was an automated email that came back within seconds saying we've got room for your car which was fantastic. Now parking if you're staying for a week is £70 for the week so £10 a day and £10 for any extra day that you stay. There is a minimum charge of £40. So if, for example, you only want to park your car for two nights, you're still going to be charged £40 because that is the minimum. So we are going away tomorrow, Saturday morning. We are back Tuesday. So we paid £40 parking, 
95 for the room which i think being so close to the airport um is a bargain and another nice touch i do like even though it is in walking distance it can be very difficult obviously with a lot of luggage we've got a case we've got the pram we've got you know baby's bag and things like that for six pound per room they will take you to the airport whatever time that you want so we are flying at 20 past seven in the morning i've arranged for a pickup at 4 30 so all we have to do is literally walk outside our room up the ramp into the uh, check-in area and the driver will pick us up there for 4 30 and then on the way back we ring the mobile number when we've landed and then he will come pick us up outside the airport and then bring us back to our car where we will leave the keys as well which i've been told as you can see behind me the room is very small not much of a room tour more of a chalet style um, place to stay rather than a hotel however perfectly equipped with everything you need nicely designed clean exactly um, what we were looking for for this place you are purely doing it for the location because it is spot on one thing that did annoy me a bit is trying to get into the forge it's a very narrow um, little road so it's like a one car in one car out system but if there's someone there on the drive waiting to come out you can't get in and when i tried getting in the first time there was some idiot who was uh parked in the driveway on his phone and the road is so busy outside i couldn't stop i had to go around so i was stuck in traffic then again so be mindful with this place guys it's a squeeze to get around in your car now my car you know it's not too small but it's not massive i'd say it's sort of a medium sized car and i was struggling to whip it around because people are parked so close together and especially at my reception because you've got to dump your car somewhere and then go in check in get your key pay for your parking and all this and your car is just in the way which is a bit of an issue but luckily no one came in um after me i was in and out of reception within around a minute or two so really swift efficient the man showed me to the room showed me to the parking space we were in very quick and swiftly i'm just on the door of my room at the forge and i'm now tracking the flights coming out of bristol airport departing so the next one we've got is ibiza ryanair at 1645 and we're going to get a shot of the aircraft to show you just how close we are and there oh that was an easy jet one there must have been a delay on that one just walking across the road to the pub in the forge we've got a lovely old British telephone box. It's a little bit battered though. If you are staying at the Forge, guys, and you do want something to eat and a drink, there is no bar or restaurant on site. The only sort of snacks you can get is in reception where there's a small selection of chocolates. However, just a 30 second walk across the road, you've got the airport tavern, which is a fantastic bar and it has a, the most outstanding food. For a very reasonable price there is a few scuff marks along the wall just general wear and tear with obviously people dragging their cases around because as you can see there's two of us and a baby and it's very tight to move around in you and just but there i don't know if the camera's picking it up but that's a lovely long piece of dust look how close we are look at that if you love playing sporting this is the place for you good morning guys um it's almost 4 a.m we've got to be up at the check-in area by quarter past four because we have booked a transfer at quarter past four i'm speaking so quiet because the baby is still asleep but um the bed was really comfy to be honest i got about five and a half hours um i could have easily done a bit more but around half three um i could hear showers going and the walls must be super thin because we were in bed and you could just hear the shower clear as day next door which was a bit annoying 
but apart from that it's nice to wake up and be able to have a coffee because when you check in they do give you fresh milk which is great so i'm gonna have a coffee now and then head up for the transfer across which should take about a minute at the most so 4 30 just at the forge ready for our transfer all ready to rock and roll literally gonna be in the minibus 30 seconds this is the little minibus that will take you straight over to the airport we're just waiting for someone in forge 5 by there and there is me tasha the baby and one other couple heading over and for so early in the morning 4 30 little man is full of beans on you hello hey yeah and there we've got the morning milk delivery let's get on yeah we are all in the van and ready to rock and roll. Time for the airport for Mammy's birthday. Yay! <laughs> Wait now till five o'clock because that's the next one I'm doing. Yeah. Do you do um uh, quite often then? Do you with the uh, transfers? So yeah, it's my place. Ah right. Yeah, the hotel. Oh awesome. Yeah, I'm part of the family, so oh. yeah. A family-run business. Yeah, so. yeah. So oh, it's Greg who owns it. I'm the cousin. And um, his sister, Nikki, she runs the tavern across the road. We went over there last night for yeah, a drink. Yeah, and she got all the parking. They've also got a Hillcrest farm. Oh. And they've got um, Worship Farm and the Crown Pub as well. Oh, wow. So it's a big business. Please like and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, check out the inn at Yanley located near Bristol Airport also.